Hello everyone and welcome back. This is step two in building your IBC tote rainwater harvesting system. I'll be discussing the different types of adapters I used as well as what material I used for the foundation of my tanks. To be clear, the specific adapters I'm speaking about are the adapters for the tank valves. Locating the proper adapters for, for my tanks turned out to be one of the more challenging aspects of this project. The main hurdle was identifying the threads on the tank valves. Out of the six tanks I have, three of them have different valves and all require different adapters. All the names and links to where I purchased the adapters will be in the description below. Adapter number one is a two inch rubber collar. This is a popular adapter in the US because it's found in most local hardware stores and it fits over almost any material. It works by tightening the hose clamps down around any round material. However, what makes this adapter popular, its versatility to fit over any material, also causes it to be prone to leaking and stretching from the weight of the water in the pipes. If this is the only adapter you have or can acquire, then it will work. I started with these same adapters, and after upgrading to my new adapters, I chose to hold on to these. They're great for survival and emergency situations. Adapter number two is a two inch PVC adapter. The insides of this adapter have female threads on one side and on the other side uh, it's considered a slip. If you live in the US you'll want to choose your IBC tank to fit this adapter. NPT thread is so important because it is a US standard for tapered threads used on threaded pipes and fittings. Parts with NPT thread are easily found in the US. NPT threading is a very fine threading that wraps around the inside of the pipe about 10 times. If all your tanks have only this threading, then this is the only adapter you will need for each tank. It will connect directly to your tank. From there, you will be ready to plumb the rest of your tanks together. If your tank has different or odd sized threads, such as buttress threads or a cam lock, you will need additional adapters. It's likely to be adapter number three with buttress threads or adapter number four, a cam lock adapter. Adapter number three is what I like to call a buttress adapter because it contains buttress threads. You can tell that these are buttress threads because they are very coarse and they only wrap around the adapter about three times. Take a quick look at the difference between buttress threads and NPT thread. The adapter on the left has buttress threads. Buttress threads are easily distinguishable compared to NPT threads. The buttress side of this adapter will connect to your tank. The NPT side will connect to adapter number two and should look something like this. Once you have these in place on your tank, you should be ready to plumb the rest of your tanks together. This is the last adapter I have any experience with. Adapter number four, a cam lock coupler. It has fooled me the most. Uh, from the looks of the tank valve, it appears that I'd be searching for an adapter with threads. I was a little worried though to see how little of threading there was and questions the strength uh, of the adapter that I was looking for. However, come to find out, uh, these threads on the valve are only for a cap and not for the actual adapter. The adapter that converts this valve will slip over the entire valve and lock into place by pulling two small metal bars back. Like adapter number three, you will need to connect adapter number one to this adapter in order to, in order to convert your tanks over to standard US piping. Once you have completed this, you are now ready to plumb the rest of your tanks together. Now for the base foundation of the tanks. Originally I started with two tanks and used some spare bricks I had laying around. This worked for the moment once I upgraded to more tanks, I decided it would be easier, cheaper, and more efficient to go with center blocks. They were easily available, cheap, and raised my tanks a few more inches off the ground. I laid the center blocks in a line along the front and back of the tanks. Then I laid a block in the middle of each tank. I haven't had any problems so far, and I feel confident about the center blocks. When building your system, you have many things to consider when deciding what material to use. The most important thing I would urge you to consider for your material and your foundation is consider the weight of your tank. Water is roughly 8 pounds a gallon and that can add up quickly. 
Each one of my tanks weigh around a ton. I wouldn't recommend setting them on dirt. Uh, the cage could, could uh, rust out quicker, and they also might sink into the dirt, making them become unbalanced. Thanks for watching, and in the description below, I'll have all the names and links to where I purchased these adapters.